Hey everyone, so today I am back out here with a plethora of AR uppers to once again revisit the test I did um, about velocity versus barrel length. Now, when I did this before, I did it with all loads from Fioki, a 55, 62, and 77 grain, um, because I figured that it would closely replicate the mil-spec loads out there. However, as we found, the velocity um, was pretty slow, um, even all the way up to a 20 inch barrel. It seemed that the powder was getting a full burn at 16 inches, so there was really no appreciable increase in velocity after 16 inches. So I was requested to do this test by several people with um, hotter types of ammo. So I decided to come out here with Wolf Gold 55 grain ammo and Independence M855 ammo. So hopefully these will give us some faster results. I already kind of did it. Um, but just for time's sake and brevity's sake, since I've done this whole intro before, if you want to see about these uppers, go check out that previous video. I go a lot more in depth um, about each upper, how it's set up. But in this video, I'm just going to show you the, st the stats as well as the information on the barrels, just like last time. And we did get a significant increase in velocity over our previous test. So um, I'll run through each one of these one by one so you can see the numbers for themselves. I only shot five shot groups because none of the people that requested this video donated uh, through Patreon to <laughs> allow me to buy more ammo. So I only did five round groups of each, but it'll still give us a pretty decent average to work with um, as far as this goes. And just FYI, the ambient temperature today is about low 80s right now. I'm not sure what the pressure is. I'll, I'll post that once I get home and, and look that up. Uh, so without any further ado, let's just go ahead and run through the velocities we got with the different barrel lengths and the different loads. Okay. 
So I went ahead and just showed the quick averages that I got from the previous test. You can see the difference between these more mil-spec NATO loadings versus the uh, 223 loadings from Fiocchi. We were consistently looking at about two to 300 feet per second difference from um, the Fiocchi loading to these NATO loadings in the different barrel lengths. So um, we were getting still about 2,200 feet per second with the seven and a half inch barrel, but we were also getting close to 3,200 feet per second out of the 20 inch barrel. So um, pretty interesting differences, a pretty consistent increase. Um, still some pretty interesting information here. And again, um, I'm using my Caldwell um, chronograph, which you can connect to your phone to save the group. So that's what I'm just looking at here. Um, we were still at a, over 3,000 feet per second with our 16-inch barrel, which is which is good. That's that's kind of what I want to see, um, and not too much of a difference between 14.5 and 16, which which is good to see. Maybe about 100 feet per second difference there, maybe a little a little bit more. Um, and again, from a 16-inch to an 11.5, not a huge sacrifice there, um, going down to closer to 2,700 feet per second. However. Um, I, I, I could even live with, if I knew my engagement distances are going to be shorter, dealing with the uh, velocities we got out of the 10.3. Still though, I believe even at about 2200 feet per second out of the 7.5 inch barrel, it would not be my go-to um, for personal protection. 2200 feet per second is really the minimum speed that you can expect any ballistic uh, capabilities. Um, even at short distances. So you push that thing out to even 100 yards and, and you're dropping below that, that tumbling threshold that is pretty much the uh, understood number uh, across the board in the industry. So again, hopefully you found this information interesting. Um, this will hopefully be the last time I visit this because um, I'm probably gonna have to get rid of some of these uppers just to be able to make ends meet here. Um, but with that, uh, I do have a Patreon page because I'm getting hardly anything here from YouTube. Um, so if you want to support this channel, I definitely encourage you to check that out. I post all my content there early as well as doing some exclusive content over there. Uh, we do also do monthly live streams and the money from those guys are what allow me to buy the little ammo that, uh, that I can afford to from that. So definitely check that out if, you're, if you feel so inclined. Um, I am uploading to full 30, so check that out if, again, you prefer to watch videos over there. But anyway, with all that said, as always, I hope you got something out of this video, and I really appreciate you watching.